Security at public hospitals across the country is to be heightened following last night's shooting at the Port of Spain General Hospital in which a male patient was killed on a ward. At about 8.45 last night, two men dressed as hospital workers walked into Ward 3 of the hospital, approached the man's bed and fired several shots. Nurses and other patients had to scamper to safety. The men then walked out of the ward. The victim, 25-year-old Dejean Broca, was being treated at the hospital after being stabbed in St. James a few days ago. Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh told TTT News an increased police presence at the hospital will be part of short-term solutions, while a complete review of security at the nation's hospitals is being undertaken. In the long term, I think there was agreement that there has to be a shift in the way we manage the inflow and outflow of people and vehicles. So, for instance, we have agreed that people are going to have to wear name tags from now on and that access is going to be limited to certain areas. We are looking at eventually the putting in of scanners. So we will shepherd people through scanners to make sure that things like guns aren't being brought into the premises. Minister Dial Singh and the team from the ministry visited the hospital this morning to lend support to the staff. While the opposition today sought to discuss the shooting incident at the Port of Spain General Hospital in the House of Representatives, MP for Karani East, Dr. Tim Gopi Singh, raised the unprecedented breach of security at the hospital as a definite matter of urgent public importance. Dr. Gopi Singh requested leave to move the adjournment of the House, arguing that the matter was urgent as the breach resulted in the murder of the Jean Broca, and it placed the lives of patients and staff at risk. The matter is urgent because newspaper reports have indicated that hospital staff are fearful and expecting further public assassination attempts at the hospital while present ailing patients and visitors are experiencing serious trauma and panic. Speaker of the House, Bridget Annie said George said she was not satisfied that the matter qualified under Standing Order 17.